A stylish new vision for Darling Harbour has been shown off, complete with a 35-storey hotel and a highly unusual exhibition space. The Sydney Entertainment Centre will be torn down and replaced as part of the plan to revitalise the area. This is the future of Darling Harbour in four years' time, at a cost of at least $1 billion to taxpayers. The private sector will kick in much more, but it's unclear yet just how much. Among the controversial elements, a sharp new exhibition centre, and in between the existing Novotel Hotel and the Harbourside shopping and restaurant area, a 34-storey hotel with 900 rooms. The hope is that at the end of next year we'll start to see construction, expectation that it'll be open uh, in 2016 and the good news, the good news is the entertainment centre under the staging that's being proposed uh, won't go till the end of uh, 2015. The promise is 1,600 jobs during construction and 4,000 permanent jobs on completion and that would generate $200 million in economic activity every year. This precinct will not only become a beacon for international visitors for conventions and events, but we'll also build on the appeal of Darling Harbour for Sydney siders. Today's announcement is a major win for Len Lease. Not only do they get to build a 900 room hotel behind me, but already under the previous Labor government, do they have the right to build a hotel at Barangaroo. The replacement for the entertainment centre should look like this, but with a capacity of 8,000, it will be much smaller. Kevin Wilde, Nine News.